This is the first architectural exhibition that the gallery here at the Arts University College of Bournemouth has actually hosted. We're very excited with Sir Peter Cook, RA, who is one of our graduates and he's one of our honorary fellows as well and he's obviously Sir Peter Cook for the work he's done in education and architecture and he also has Crab Studios in London and he actually loves working with young people. And this is a collection of his work from archival work from what was known as the Archigram Archives. So this is what Bournemouth would have looked like if his plans had been implemented. These models are the outcome of a, a two-week project in collaboration with uh, the, the Crab Studio to produce models from their back catalogue. So our students were given a variety of information, some of it quite sketchy, some of it quite in-depth, to, uh, to produce some quite simple models to study the form of their architecture over the years. Uh, so each one of these models has been made by a team of two or three students uh, over a course of a couple of weeks, so it probably represents, with the other things the students are doing, about a week's work for each model. It's funny, when we were working on it, we imagined the room was small. I mean, we should know, because we've done loads, you know, the three of us between us have done loads and loads of exhibitions. We've all shown on the wall, we've all designed these buildings. So we do actually sort of vaguely know about exhibition, and yet we were still thrown by this room. Well, it's quite nice to have a very, you know, built stuff, technical stuff, in with a lot of sort of ideas, wacky drawing people. Because there's always the thing people say, oh yeah, 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 but you couldn't build this kind of stuff, and say, hey, hold it, Charlie. <laughs> you can, you know? Yeah. And there are two other buildings in the exhibition which are actually being built. That one was nearly finished, which is the uh, blue housing on the right there. That's actually three quarters complete. And then the um, university building through there with the candy coloured stripes, which is just on site now. So it can be done. <laughs> Traditional buildings around yeah. the sort of surroundings and this sort of brand new modern cutting edge building which you have cool. in the middle. So, so is that, will that be cast out of a solid piece of resin? Um, no, 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 I'll make a mould from that. Right. Uh, once I've done all the little spouts as well, which mm. I'm mm. yet to sculpt. And then from the mould, I'll make a, I haven't really figured it out yet, but I'm gonna, I've got a couple of ideas. No, it's it's experimentation, so I've been yeah. trying yeah. to just Well, that's good, because the whole thing's experimentation. Yeah. You know, it's in the spirit of the... Yeah. Yeah, well, exhibition. No, yeah. we're really impressed by your stuff. Thank you. We think it's special and very, very sensitive. Oh, good. Really right. got, really got it actually. Yeah, I'm really enjoying doing it actually. And yeah. um, that's the flight tower and the large auditorium there. Mm -hmm. But um, obviously, this half has to be poured. Each each piece has to be poured from the largest part of the building. Mm -hmm. Oh so God, on, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So on this one, it's the roof. And on this one, it's the base. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm doing half of it and then turning it over and pouring it the other way from the flight tower. Well, you've written to the challenge. Yeah, yes, absolutely. We really like that stuff. Though. Very fragile. Yeah. Yeah. This one's a hollow shell. This is an architecture student. Yeah, second year student produced that for. Um, Do you know what? We, we commission people, we've, we've used a model maker to make stuff like this. Okay, yes. But they always, we always have a lot of problems because we want to get it thinner than they'll let us go. Yeah. How thin can you go? Well, this is a great example because yeah. this is less than a millimetre yeah. and it came out okay. Okay. So depending on the geometry, yeah. it allowed us to go that, that accurate. But that's about the limit. Yeah. Absolutely, limit. Yeah. yeah. We would say one millimetre right. for this technology. This is a few years old now. You yeah. know, there's new technologies that come out. Because I've seen glossy ones, ones that look smooth. That's I don't right, know, maybe that's yeah. another technique. Different type of technique. That's right. a similar principle. It's a robotic arm. Right. It moves forwards and backwards, left and right, and it deposits material like a glue gun. Right. So you've got a big feed of uh, ABS resin, and then it deposits it layer by layer again over time, and you get a, a physical resin model then. So there's loads of technologies, far too many to keep up with. You know, we've chosen this one. It's quite cheap per model, so a student could afford it. How much is it? Um, How much was that, that model? model the, the egg. Yeah, the egg, probably three or four pounds. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. very inexpensive. Wow. That's yeah. cost, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the great thing is, we run a job, we run it overnight, come in the morning, take them all out, and we've got five or six students' work from architecture, interior architecture, model making, fashion cut, uh, 
products. So yeah, a whole broad range. So Gavin's going to get something to win Friday. You're, you're yeah. probably aware, Peter, that um, uh, Bournemouth is um, having its town centre vision. Process. I did hear about Someone is making a movement. There is, there oh, is, yes. there is good. Serious. Um, good. The, the, Why aren't we doing it? We the are. project <laughs> managers are going <laughs> to cut a long story. Well, <laughs> we will have on the, th when, when, is it the second or the third? Third. Um, we will have the chief executive from Bournemouth Borough Council. Um, and we'll have the project manager for it, which is Stephen Peacock. And I'll make sure you're introduced. Because I think because of the archigram materials, it, I, it's just the timing yeah. is brilliant yeah, because they've been labouring over this for about the last year um, and of course we do boast the worst building in Britain which is the <laughs> IMAX. That whole neck of the pier has always been a mess, it's never gelled, no. you know, the, it's lovely the gardens come down and you know, walk up under the pier, that's all right, fair enough. And the, even the pavilion terracing isn't, isn't the worst thing, but everything else is it's just yeah. it's rubbish. I mean, it's just rubbishy for a town of that wealth. And, and, you know, and size, it's, it's very bad.